السلام عليكم ورحمة الله لعلها واحدة من أكثر مؤسسات التعليم إبداعا في باكستان كما يرى المراقبون هي كلية الكوادر من الشابات في مردان التي أطلق فكرة إنشائها وزير التربية والتعليم السيد محمد عاطف خان عام 2016 وأبصرت النورة في العام التالي مؤسسة فريدة تأسست في مدينة مردان من قبل حكومة إقليم خيبر بختنخوا وبرعايتها وإشرافها وتحدت المشكلة الخطيرة المتعلقة بالمساواة بين الجنسين في البلاد هو مشروع ضخم ذو رؤية ونهج مستقبليين وتعمل المؤسسة على نقل التعليم النوعي إلى الفتيات وتهيئتهن كمواطنات مميزات وقائدات المستقبل في باكستان مع العميد المتقاعد جافيد سروار المدير المسؤول عن هذه المؤسسة العلمية والتربوية لتهيئة الكوادر من الشابات للالتحاق بالقوى المسلحة نستكشف هذا الصرح التربوي وأهدافه العميقة والرؤية والآفاق ونستطلع التحديات التي تواجه أولئك الفتيات خلال رحلتهن التعليمية وبعدها أهلا بكم إلى حلقة جديدة من الداخل معكم زينب صفار تابعونا Retired Brigadier Javid Sarwar, principal of the Pakistan Army's first girls cadet college, joining us from the city of Mardan in the province of Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa, or KPK, of Pakistan. Welcome to Minat Dakhil from the inside, sir. Thank you much. Thank you, Dr. Zanam. Thank you much. Pure pleasure to have you always. Well, uh, the girls cadet college situated in the city of Mardan, as I said, and backed up by the government of KPK for uh, the women is one of its kind. The selection of the region for the project only adds up to the already magnificent splendor of the Institute. Before we delve in talking about the value of this college, tell us about the place, uh, the city of Mardan and why in this city, sir? Uh, right, Dr. Zaram. It's nice talking to you. Thank you much for inviting me, you know, in your show. And uh, particularly my compliment, Assalamu alaikum, to all the people, those who are viewing from your country and uh, all over the world, wherever it is being televised. This, uh, I would like to introduce myself, you know, starting from myself. Uh, my name is Abhagadeh Javed Sarva. I have a unique honor to be the founding principal of Girls Care College, Marda which has been established in the KPK province of Pakistan. Uh, I served about 34 years in army starting from 1983 mm -hmm. till 2017, once I was picked up for this project. I learned, you know, leadership traits, management skills, administrative skills, and also lucky to serve as an instructor and the trainer for the officers and the soldiers. I've been involved into the recruitment process mm -hmm. of the soldiers. And beside, uh, I've been involved in the selection for the cadet for Pakistan Military Academy. And beside this, I attained a good expertise uh, while uh, running certain monitoring education systems uh, with the government mm -hmm. and also been running different schools. So this was my expertise, you know, uh, due to this, I was picked up for this unique project. And uh, uh, I, I so you were the right was, man uh, in the right place, sir? Uh, Alhamdulillah, I would say. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. uh, my passion and profession, you know, they came together. But uh, why, the city, the why the city of Mardan? What's the importance of being situated there in the city of Mardan? It is, it is very important. Mm -hmm. This place was picked up because this area was a military prong, right? You know, it, we've been fighting, you know militancy in the area and this area was suffering a lot and particularly you know people are quite possessive mm -hmm. and 65 percent of the women they remain uneducated uh, due to one reason or the two reasons but alhamdulillah situation one started improving they thought of it that mainstream 
that 55% of the population of the women, they should come into the mainstream. That's what I thought, you know, people have a lot of talents, particularly the girls, they have a lot of talents here. Mm-hmm. But once we came here, we thought of it, the response of the people was very positive. And you can see that this was the reason that within the three years of its establishment, the Kelt College has attained the international. What is the vision behind the establishment of this college? And uh, what is your mission as college principal, sir? It's a unique institution as a mega project with the futuristic BNN approach. Uh, if you see our, you know, logo, it has been, we, we have designed the logo, it's designed by myself, taken the first word of Holy Quran, that is Ikra, and the poetic uh, words of our national poet, Allah Iqbal, reach for the stars. So mm-hmm. we have depicted all the provinces and the route of success leading through all the provinces, going up to the stars. Mm-hmm. We say that we are laying the foundation for better tomorrow. The girls, they can have, they can, they have the vision, they can work hard, they can succeed and go up to the stars. Mm-hmm. So idea of this project was conceived back in 2016 at the government level and the selection process and the practical work started in 2017 mm-hmm. uh, where the selection of the principal, the vice principal were done. At the moment, we are working in, at a temporary campus. Mm-hmm. The major purposeful uh, campus is under construction. Inshallah, we are likely to shift next year. Okay. Uh, we are working on uh, we are working on a vision of our uh, great leader, Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, the one who is the founder of Pakistan. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would like to quote his quotation that no nation can rise to the height of glory unless the, your women are side by side with you. Based right. on that, you know, right, I right. found my vision. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Excellent. So my vision is... Sure. Uh, now, uh, tell us, sir, about the numbers, uh, uh, the number of students and staff, and what are the special areas of emphasis due to which your college has attained such international fame within a rather short period of time? Right. Shortly, just I run over to my uh, VN and the mission so that you, you can, you know, go systematically. My VN, as a college principal, is train and groom the young lady cadets for the leadership role and make an effort to improve and transform their lives, ensuring that they excel in their endeavors. Mm-hmm. And my mission is to provide multi-dimensional education to the young lady cadets, grooming them into the fine citizen of Pakistan with an aim to serve in the leadership roles in a variety of professions, including armed forces, for achievement of uh, our national development goals set forth ex- ex- exclusively set forth by the government of KPK regarding focus over girls education. Mm-hmm. Our motto is Ikra with a view to reach for the stars. Right. We provide quality education mm-hmm. with emphasis on academic excellence, mm-hmm. personality building, physical development mm-hmm. and inculcation of religious and the national spirit. Right. When you Basically, talk... Yes, sir. When you talk, yeah. when you talk about, you know, when you talk about religion and uh, Islamiyat is part and parcel of the curriculum of your college, I want to ask you here, sir, who is eligible to join your college? What is the criteria? And is it only for Pakistani Muslim girls? Uh, yeah, it's a good question. I said that our college has attained the international fame within the three years of its establishment. Mm-hmm. We established this college in 2017, this is 2021, Alhamdulillah. Uh, we have the cadets mm-hmm. from overseas Pakistanis. Mm-hmm. They are the dual nationals. I have the cadet from Japan, England, Australia, Canada, and uh, uh, Qatar, Saudi Arabia. Mm-hmm. So criteria is very simple. It is on the merit based. Uh, we, the age limit is 12 to 14 years. Mm-hmm. And the Cadets, though they're studying in the seventh grade, are the past seventh grade. They are eligible to apply. We mm-hmm. conduct the entry test of the main subjects. Those they lead the entry test. Subsequently, they are called for the interviews. And we examine the physically because uh, our main criteria is also the physical fitness. We try to create a balance in the intellectual capacity and the physical makeover. And once they, they are fit enough, we induct them. Right. Allow us, sir, to stop now for a short break and then we will continue to talk more about the Girls Cadet College in Mardan after the break. 
اذا فاصل قصير ونعود لا تذهب بعيدا اهلا بكم من جديد ريتايرد ارمي بريجادير جافيد سرور ويلكم باك تو من الداخل فروم ذا انسايد سير ويل وي توكت اباوت يور موتو فور ذا كاديتس از اقرا ا وورد فروم ذا هولي قران وذ ا فيو تو ريتش فور ذا ستارز وذ اتس بارتيكولار جولز اند تارجت تو وات اكستنت هاز باكستانز فيرست ايفر جيرلز كاديت كوليدج بيكم ا جيم تشينجر How much does it constitute a big change that will help in realizing women's empowerment, sir? Uh, right. For the training of the girls, you know, uh, we have adopted the multi-pronged strategy. In that, the I said that we are trying to create a balance between the intellectual capacity and the physical makeover. Uh, we lay a lot of emphasis on the physical fitness, and besides this, we put the cadets into the different competitions. So they are getting a lot of exposure in that. Alhamdulillah, since we established the Cadet College, I put into the different competitions at the school and college level. Uh, my colleagues attain the championship. They have a lot of talents, I tell you. Once you provide them platform, they excel. Uh, mm -hmm. They're the champion in the handball, the champion in football, and you will be surprised to know that the champion in the basketball. Besides this, I put the cadets in the national championship, the Taekwondo. and the national games my kids won the 16 medals in the national taekwondo championship which was conducted lately in the last year uh, my i sent the six cadet to participate in that championship and they won all the six medals mm -hmm. so this is basically once you provide the platform the young talent they come over uh, it's not only you know uh, the, the the sports it's the academic excellence i did mention you know uh, The first board exam was conducted uh, before the COVID-19 in SSC Part One. My 66 cadet appeared. Out of 66, 65 attained A1 grade, and only one was the A grade. Uh, that is the best result in Pakistan, Alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. So this is what you know. So if the girls they are given that platform, they are given proper guidance. You know, they they are proper groomed, Alhamdulillah. Uh, they are going to excel it's mm -hmm. not only their performance would be they get a chance uh, to serve in the military forces they will also have the chance to serve as a technocrat bureaucrat the politician mm -hmm. for can, that can that, can they uh, yeah. serve in all the different uh, sectors of the military i mean can they serve in the yes. navy yes because no women yes. ever served in the navy in pakistan no no it is it is there no it is there the women are being inducted into the pakistan air force mm -hmm. pakistan army mm -hmm. and the pakistan navy also right. right the first induction after you know uh, undergraduate cadets they are inducted in the gd pilot the mm -hmm. fighter pilots mm -hmm. and the aeronautical engineer yeah. uh, once they get a graduation mm -hmm. uh, they also they can serve in the different fields in the military forces and plus the navy right. they are serving over there right like uh, aisha farooq of course um, um uh, yeah Uh, might you sir describe the daily college routine for us to know more uh right it's very really interesting we we are working very close to the nature mm -hmm. alhamdulillah my kids get up early in the morning you know at 5:30 offering their prayer and they will get ready to get out uh, along with the principal and the teaching staff so they get for the physical training as the drill and subsequently they are given a break for the refreshment change over they go for the breakfast in the mess mm -hmm. and after you know this attending the mess they go to the classes so classes start sharp 0830 hours and then they finishes at 1330 hours mm -hmm. so after that they have a time for the lunch the zohar prayer and also the nap which is very important mm -hmm. and subsequently once they get up at the asr time they offer the asr prayer and they come out for the sports activities mm -hmm. at 1630 till 1730 they have the games different games which mm -hmm. has been organized in the college 
and after the maghrib prayer uh, we have the quran class about 45 to 1 hour 45 minutes to 1 hour mm-hmm. that is there we discuss uh, the holy quran with the tajweed its translation and particularly the application in their life so mm-hmm. that how they can play the better role into the society uh, you know as the women they have the very important role the grooming of a society you know sure. subsequently they go to the mother mm-hmm. sure so that that's what we do it right and subsequently allow me to yeah. ask you here sir now living away from the families by those young girls uh, is pretty stressful and management of their stress is extremely challenging how do you accomplish this and what are the challenges that you uh, uh, mr javid face the challenges that those young girls face and how do you prepare them for the challenges that they will face later on at the workplace in your society uh, you know the young girl at the age of 12 to 14 years itself is a big challenge living away from the family and you you being a woman you can understand sure this is a very uh, critical age with slightly sensitive sensitivities also there with the family as well for that you know we ensure that all curricular and co-curricular activities they are preceded by discussion demonstration interaction with the guest speaker we create a charm for them we call a different guest speaker so that they remain committed they know the different avenues and besides this you know uh, for that you know dignity we call as a scholars the military persons the technocrat bureaucrats even the media persons they come talk to them and they have the motivation lectures besides this you know after having uh the stressful period of the examinations uh midterm exam the final exams uh, we do conduct uh, different activities that is the recreational activities basically uh, this recreational activities are known as a uh, bone for nights right uh, we all stop sit together have a lot of fun and we give them a time to prepare in that fun uh, we also discover and disclose the talents they possess and subsequently focusing on those talent uh, we you know uh, give them a guideline and we also identified what type of main talent they have and which field suits them so mm-hmm. this is how you know we create a balance in their personality right now observers note that currently pakistan has uh, a 58% literacy rate female illiteracy is worse than that of men How far is that accurate sir and how do you overcome some of the factors responsible for hampering the literacy rate of Pakistan especially the overarching patriarchal culture and challenging conditions for females This is one of the major step has been taken by the government you can see this mm-hmm. this is a government level the first college the girls cadet college established in Pakistan and particularly in south asia and it has been followed by another cadet college which has been established at the in the sindh province so you can see the interest of the government at present mm-hmm. initially you know at the member of parliaments the seats were about initially 2 to 3 now it has been risen to 65 so once you create the charm for the ladies we give them a platform they come for the education and i tell you particularly here where i am serving we have the cadet college the people were very possessive uh, but subsequently once they say the talents you know i give a good exposure of these girls towards the media anybody coming you know i give without any profession i put them across the media once they get a stage they show their talent the people also feel happy they know it there's a talent you know talented girls available as the family members why not to put them onto the platform so alhamdulillah the number of you know uh, incentive which has been given by the present government also with regard to girls they can be a good entrepreneurs uh, they are being provided uh, different funds uh, even uh, the loans from the banks mm-hmm. so that they can start up with the business mm-hmm. and they also have the special quota in the different services which has been increased now right under the extraordinary situation that the world is passing through due to the fast outbreak and the spike of covid-19 pandemic how did you your students and staff cope and adapt throughout the academic educational term sir yes 
it was a very interesting and challenging phase with us but i tell you without wasting uh, even a, a one day uh, we look for this is my duty as a, this is my obligation and the my duty also to carry out a forward planning what we planned immediately you know we look for the uh, online classes we mm-hmm. started with the online classes and i tell you i claim this was the first college they conducted the online exams once the kids joined back alhamdulillah they already covered all the syllabus and uh, we are conducting exam at the moment right and the kids uh, i we remained in touch with the kids i have been conducting their motivation lectures mm-hmm. even the mm-hmm. quran class was the regular feature online Right. Now, allow me to ask you, sir, my last question, please, if I may. What message uh, out of your experience uh, would you like to deliver for the young girls of Pakistan and all over the world, too? Uh, right. Uh, while taking the opportunity and using your platform, yes, I would like to give a good message to all the girls, young ladies like you, you know, So first of all please dream big if you have the big dreams and uh, then subsequently inshallah you'll be able to attain those uh, dreams you start certain object objectives or uh, set your targets which should be attainable a target could be for a day for a week for a month mm-hmm. or for a year once you you know set your target which are attainable you should start planning to attain those targets mm-hmm, so you mm-hmm. start getting with the planning once you plan your activities accordingly you should focus should not be lost at any way right you should have a focus and the concentration once you have the focus and the concentration as uh, keep working hard so it's very simple once you work hard inshallah it's, it's not only the working hard it's a smart work once you work right. hard smart work allah says mm-hmm. uh, you your hard work will be rewarded accordingly uh, i sure. know it the girls will attain their objective very soon inshallah inshallah retired brigadier javid sarwar principal of the uh, pakistan army's first girls cadet college thank you very much sir for your great acumen and efforts it's always a pleasure to have you bless you and be safe thank you much thank you much my praise and compliment to all the viewers and your channel always welcome always Thanks. welcome sir وشكرا لكم مشاهدينا الكرام على طيب المتابعه للتفاعل اكثر تابعونا على صفحات السوشيال ميديا وحتى نلتقي من كل فريق عمل من الداخل من كل الميادين السلام عليكم ورحمه الله